What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about a brand new feature they added to V3.6 which are new badges. You can see here the badge rewards have been added to the eFootball League. Badges also have grades. I've been getting a lot of questions on this. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. I'm going to break it down for you, show you how to unlock the badges, how to actually choose which badges you want to appear on your profile and why I think this could be, you know, setting the table for what will be coming in eFootball 2025, and also whether I like it or not, whether it's a good thing or not, because we're going to talk about a couple of reasons, right? Firstly, here are the badges that you see here. You can choose from a range of badges as you unlock them. So you get them from scoring goals, you get them from winning matches, consecutive matches, there's badges for co-op, my league, everything, right? Now, if you actually remember before, if you remember with your divisions before, this is what your division rank profile used to look like. So if you played somebody and you're like, oh, that guy was pretty good. Let me go in and have a hop on and, and just check what his profile looks like and check what his rank was. And it'd be like, okay, this guy was top 63 in the world before, or this guy was top 1000 in the world before, or this guy was division three, yeah, he's still learning or whatever. That has now been replaced with this, as you see here, right? So this badge overview now, it, we'll have a look at a couple of guys, we'll have a look at the rank one or whatever. You can't tell what rank somebody is. The only way you can tell now from what rank somebody is, is when you initially matchmake them within the first matchmaking screen when you're searching for a game, right? Now, do I like this compared to the old version? I'm not too sure, right? But how to change these, a lot of people have been asking me this, is you simply go over to user information. We're gonna have a look at all the badges, I'm gonna break them down. We're gonna go to user details, as you see here, and then from there, you're gonna have your main menu uh, of your badges and your profile and your user details, right? So I have already two badges here. You uh, press Y or triangle, depending on if you're on Xbox, PC, or on PS4, PS5, and then you will go to badges. This is where you can also change your avatar here as well, if you didn't know, but badges are here. They've been added to V3.6, right? Now, when you go in here, you will probably have a couple unlocked, and then you also will have some that you will need to unlock as well, right? So for example, they talk about having different grades, okay? So if you have your basic badge, you will have the ones that you're able to select. Um, you will be able to select whichever one you want, right? So you can remove, you can add, whichever. If you click on one that you already have unlocked, it will bring it up and you'll be able to pick which slot you want to put it in. So you can put it in any empty slot there, or of course you can override. It doesn't really make a difference. Once you confirm that, that's what's going to be in your slot there. And then it will just number it, whether it's the first slot, second slot, or third slot. I have this one in the first slot, and then I have this one in the third slot. If you want to put this into the second slot, you can. You can have a total of three badges right but how do you unlock these well they're fairly self-explanatory especially if you press triangle or y on your controller okay so once you do that either the unlocked one or the, the locked one it doesn't make a difference this is going to break down and tell you exactly why and how you unlock these or how you actually you know open these up to get the initial grade so the first one is just basically the start football. that's just like a gimme participation award badge this one here is where it starts to get interesting right so this badge here is going to be for player versus player you can see here that they all have different um categories these are player versus player online this is against the ai you also have team play style so play 50 matches using possession game possession or quick counter long ball out wide long ball counter also there is some for co-op i think there's like five for co-op there yeah there's five for co-op there assist 10 goals received the dead eye delivery award one time head waiter award one time and also the architect one time as well as all three teammates users score one goal each in the match and then of course there's my league and eFootball League. So the eFootball League, I think, are going to be the, the new Division 1. They're going to be the biggest flex, right? That is kind of be, going to be what people are looking at. I think this opens up a little bit of a... There's some good and bad with it, right? But some of these badges, man, are going to be very difficult to unlock. I mean, this is why I'm talking about these being eFootball 2025. You have win 100 matches to unlock the grade 1 in this. So I've won 10 matches already, and this is PvP. This has to be online. You can't do this one against the AI. So I do think that people are going to be grinding the ones against the AI. I mean, scoring lots of goals offline and stuff against the low difficulty and being like, oh, look at my badge. But honestly, these ones against PvP are going to be difficult. You need to win a total of 5,000 matches to be getting the grade 5 one. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting who's going to be the first ever in the world in eFootball 2025 to get that. Because it's going to be impossible to get that in eFootball 2024 unless you're literally playing, I don't know, man, 5,000 matches is a lot. And that's bare, you know, if you go on a 5,000 win streak, <laughs> it's not going to happen unless you're cheating, man. So, um, I definitely think that's going to be the biggest flex one. And also, you've got one from scoring 10,000 goals. That, again, is incredible. I mean, we've 37 goals scored. One thing that people were complaining about is that this is starting from day dot 
last Thursday, right? So it started on Thursday. So all of your goals that you previously scored from the beta to eFootball 22 to 23, all the way up to last Thursday are null and void. They do not count. So if you've got a thousand goals scored in Mbappe or Messi or Ronaldo, they don't count, man. It's starting fresh from when V3.6 went live. I know a few people were confused about that, but honestly, there's some really, really good game, really, really good ones here um, for grinding if you're just wanting to grind. Listen, it does need a bit of tweaking. Honestly, it does need a bit of tweaking. Like this one is for winning 10,000 matches offline against the AI. Now, if they add Master League and you're playing a season of Master League, that's probably going to like be, what, 60 games, 70 games, maybe if you get all competitions or whatever um, with pre-seasons and stuff. Um, that's going to be a lot of games. And yeah, there's just some mad ones here, man. Like 15,000 matches here, play 15,000 matches, uh, score 30,000 goals against the AI. Some crazy ones. Obviously, there's more attainable ones here as well. Win 200 matches using long ball, um, win 200 matches using out wide and long ball counter as well as possession um, and quick counter. So them ones are kind of quite attainable even though you have to win the matches here we've kind of got a good view here on it and um, where we've been trying out different formations yeah i mean there's going to be tough ones man there's going to be some very tough ones here to get the grades and again win a league with all matches playing on regularly match difficulty or above if you play on legend or above you're going to unlock all of these grades so i do like the fact that they're trying to do something different we also have unlocked this one here to win five consecutive matches that stops at win 15 consecutive matches so if you win 15 matches on eFootball league you know what people are going to do, man, for the flex. They're going to drop down to Division 9 and then they're going to go on a, a, a big win streak. Listen, there's no way to stop people from, you know, kind of like, I don't know, scamming the system a little bit. But at the end of the day, man, as I've said, you're only playing with yourself, really. Honestly, you're only playing with yourself. Now, what I will say is, right, I don't know do I like the fact of going to your profile here. If you go into even the top rank in the world at the moment, and let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this, right? Because I'm a little bit torn. I can see what they're trying to do. Obviously, if somebody comes in, you can nearly have the game lost if you look at somebody and it pops up that they're Division 1 or they were top 200 before, they were top 10 before. Um, you can see here, right, with Franquinho, who's obviously the world number one at the moment. When you go into his profile, there is no mention of his top rank. So you do not know that you're playing the top one rank here only from the matchmaking screen but you do see here that you actually can see their badges so if you click square now you can check their badges and it says that this guy has won 15 consecutive matches in division three or above so i think that's quite attainable for any decent player but yeah you will see that all the top guys are going to be flexing them badges right but let me know what you guys think obviously it's a bit of a change um you will see here it's a bit of a change with things and i do feel like that they are trying to do something different with the grind um but i just feel as well that there was something about going in looking at somebody's rank after it so you know because it was statistical based i think they need to explode it out right all together and have like you know they could have stats and then they could have a deep dive stats where it's like how many goals he scored in his last 10 games you like what's his favorite position uh or possession a quick ball his favorite tactic how much possession he has how many shots and targets he averaged over 10 games i think they could really expand this out a little bit but it is a start but that is the badges that's how you unlock them that's how you do everything with them let me know what you guys think, and I'll be back in a little bit. Don't forget to like the stream and like the videos, and I will talk to you in a little bit. Peace.